The German Canadian Club will celebrate 50 years of service in the community in 2021, though the Canadian Friendship Club, our predecessor, was formed in 1949. Before the Saxonia Hall was named the home of the German Canadian Club, many events took place at the Elmer Arena. The cultural groups began as early as 1954, namely a youth folk dance group, which has continued to the present. Many of the current dancers have relatives who were in the previous groups, including cousins, parents, grandparents, aunts, and uncles. The group is pivotal in connecting with our community and, in recent years, has participated in the Elmer Christmas Parade, the St. Thomas Elgin Culture Days, and the 2019-20 RBC Future Launch Challenge, teaching folk dance to students in local schools. Additionally, the Saxonia Hall members have engaged with Elmer and area through the 2019 Proclamation of Transylvanian Saxon Homecoming Week, an event which included a free community German lesson, a community barbecue kitchen party, and a cultural costume parade. Members regularly host international German-speaking groups as well. Our growing relationship with the St. Thomas Elgin Local Immigration Partnership has led to our members sharing cultural food recipes and personal immigration stories for the From There to Here cookbook. Transylvania is located in the northern part of Romania, surrounded by the Carpathian mountain range. Though the map features the German names of villages and fortified cities, many of these areas are presently referred to by their Romanian language names. Following emigration in the early 1900s, 1940s, and 1980s, few Transylvanian Saxons remain in the region today. Instead, they live primarily in the four other Federation countries, Canada, USA, Germany, and Austria. There are also some Transylvanian Saxons in Switzerland. When gathering at celebrations, Transylvanian Saxons from around the world connect with each other by sharing their or their family's Ortschaft or hometown in Transylvania to determine any personal or familial relationships and to learn about each other's customs. Older married women in Transylvania generally opted for a more simplified version of the Chacht with less flair. However, they often wore head coverings, varying by region, like the bonnet on display here. Today, few married Transylvanian Saxon women wear the bonnet as the ornate features of the full costume used in North America outshine the bonnet. The dark cobalt blue scraffito decorated bowl and carafe is typical of the dishes created by Saxon potters from Transylvania. The lighter colored plates are replicas commissioned by the Saxonia Hall as part of a venture to open a cultural restaurant to community members in the mid 80s. July 2019 marked the first ever proclamation of Transylvanian Saxon Homecoming Week by Mayor Mary French. This homecoming, or Heimatag, is celebrated annually by Transylvanian Saxons in Tinkelspiel, Germany, but also in North America. The celebration includes a banquet, many cultural performances, a Lutheran service of worship and thanksgiving, and a traditional costume parade. Among participants in the festivities are choirs, brass bands, and our very own Saxonia dancers, youth and children's groups. Elgin's Oktoberfest is an annual event that draws around 300 people to our community every year. In 2020, we celebrated virtually and offered takeout meals to our community. The Saxonia dancers are one of the better known groups of the Saxonia Hall within the Elmer community as they are most likely to be attending performances in London, St. Thomas, Elmer, and Kitchener areas. The youth group hosts regular practices and welcomes any members of the community to participate with no prior dance experience required. The practices are excellent opportunities to meet new friends. Though the group certainly practice their dances, they also enjoy outings such as canoe trips, traditional costume shopping ventures, and eating out together. Laughter often rings through the hall when the Saxony dancers are around. The German-Canadian club Saxonia Hall is first and foremost a service club, giving back to the community that welcomed its founding members who immigrated from Transylvania to Canada. Its mission to strengthen the connections between culture, community, and tradition is fulfilled through the many community activities that are hosted on a regular basis. 
This includes providing annual scholarships to students graduating from East Elgin Secondary School, donating to charities, contributing to local initiatives like the St. Thomas Elgin Local Immigration Partnership Cookbook, installing an automated electronic defibrillator, performing in local retirement residences, and supporting local businesses. These items are an example of the embroidery or cross-stitch work crafted by many Transylvanian Saxon women. The cross-stitch designs of the Transylvanian Saxon people are among the most fascinating embroideries in existence. The wooden flask was used for carrying water or other beverages when away from home, especially as many Transylvanian Saxons were farmers and would not return home until the end of the workday. Many of the Transylvanian Saxons who immigrated to the Elmer and Elgin County communities continued their work as farmers, contributing to the local economy in this way. Though the decorative aspects of the flask resemble Romanian cultural artifacts, it was used by Transylvanian Saxons as well. A large part of intercultural learning involves language and cultural immersion. For the past 50 years, the Saxonia Hall has participated in Transylvanian Saxon Federation cultural exchanges called Kulturaustausch or Jugendlager by sponsoring young students ages 16 to 25 to travel to another country and learn about how Transylvanian Saxons celebrate their culture. The Saxonia Hall planned to host 40 guests from Traun, Austria, some of whom visited on a similar exchange 20 years ago. However, the July 2020 visit was postponed due to the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. During these cultural visits, it is common to exchange Transylvanian Saxon cultural items to continue the theme of sharing heritage practices between countries. This wide belt demonstrates the variety of costumes even within a specific region of Transylvania. The child in the photo is wearing the belt that is on display. Adult men had similar belts and, for those from similar regions, the men's and boys' belts often had similar embroidery, save for personal initials or dates of importance. This young boy moved to the Elmer region sometime after this photo was taken and maintained the traditional costume piece in excellent condition. Although the traditional costume, or chacht, as displayed here was typically only worn by young women before marriage for events such as weddings, confirmation, or other significant celebrations, Transylvanian Saxons in North America opt to wear this version of the costume at any age. The costume displayed on the mannequin was worn in colder months. It represents one type of costume worn in the Bistritz region in northern Transylvania. This is the region from which many of the Transylvanian Saxons and or their families in Elmerand area originate. Today the Chacht is worn at events such as the Chachtenball traditional costume banquet, which is usually held every November in Elmer, and the Heimatag homecoming every summer in the USA or Canada. Some young Transylvanian Saxons in Canada continue to wear the Chacht, or parts of it, at their weddings, though this is much less common. Both the men's and women's costumes have features that designate, to a similarly informed Transylvanian Saxon, the region or even exact village of origin of the costume, so it is a common occurrence to meet a stranger at a Transylvanian Saxon event simply because both costume wearers notice similarities in their attire. Men wore the costume for similar events as the women. This costume is typical of the Bistritz region in northern Transylvania as well. Originally, white pants were paired with the white hand embroidered shirt, though a move to black pants was popularized in the 1930s to 40s and is typical today. Notice the embroidery work on the shirt which includes symbols representative of the town of origin. Each shirt is therefore unique. However, today the embroidery of men's shirts has been mechanized with modern technology and there is an option now to have a machine-made chalked shirt.